location, let's focus on communication Cause I just need the time and place to compose Send me your location, let's ride the vibration I don't need nothing else to do I'm fully in my hosting era. I'm fully in my close friends at my house era. Friends giving all of that. It's early Monday evening. I just got home from work. I made a little stop at a few places. I had a package that I had to pick up for like forever. I actually bought a nice little wooden shoe rack on Amazon. We will mount this in a few because I definitely have to put it together. But I got two plants yesterday from Price Mart. I think you guys would have seen us for a little bit in Price Mart or I'll insert that right here. I'm here with Cutie. We are in Price Mart running errands on a Sunday. With this heavy cuts. We're being adults. We're being grown. Cute. Anyway, so this is literally what we got up to today. Today was such a pretty beach day and nobody wanted to go to the beach with me so instead we're here being adults. Oh my god, the lines are long though. Yeah, but I have just gotten to the point where I like what I like. I like better quality things. I like certain materials. I like certain looks or whatever. So I'm just like, I'm investing in my stuff and if it is that I move apartment to a house to a move a different country whatever I'm just gonna pack up my things and take my things with me <laughs> not because you're in a quote-unquote temporary space that means that you have to buy cheap things that are gonna grind your gears every time you see them I rather buy aesthetically pleasing cute things that I'm gonna use all the time and if it is that I move into somewhere else if they're still fine and in good condition I will take them with me or maybe just you know sell them and do something else you know comment down below if you agree let's scroll back to what I was saying so I am hosting a Friendsgiving this weekend because this week is Thanksgiving in um, the US and although in the Caribbean we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving we definitely celebrate like Christmas and whatever like Thanksgiving isn't a holiday here um, but 
I have a few close friends in Jamaica and I was like, you know, I feel like having something very small and cute for the holidays because I know like I would want to do a friends must, you know, as well or instead, but I know too, closer to Christmas, everybody gets busy, you got like your family things and people travel and stuff like that. So I'll definitely give you guys clips of that because we're already putting together our menu and the food and I'm just looking forward to it. I just picked up a few things today to kind of in preparation for that. But I need to get a few more glasses for my bar carts. I need to order some martini glasses. I saw, I just can't find any nice ones in Kingston that I like. So I saw some on Amazon. Some of them even have started to get Black Friday deals. So they won't be in time for the Friendsgiving, but I'm definitely going to order a nice six pack of martini glasses because I think like next to wine glasses, martini glasses are the next best type of glassware that you want to make if you're a person who likes to host at home and you like friends to come over. And I just love the shape of them too, the vintage looking coops, not the regular like triangle. By the way guys, anytime I order things from Amazon or I buy things, I will link similar ones on my Amazon storefront and it's always in my link in my description box below. If you live in Kingston, I do think one place where you can sometimes find some gems when it comes to glasses at a very affordable price is Azan's. These wine glasses, they seem to always tend to have them and I love the shape of these better. So these are just like my white wine glasses, they're the smaller ones. I do want to get some nice big red wine glasses, but I didn't necessarily want to get this. They had bigger red wine glasses in this shape, but I think I just wanted to get something completely different to the red wines. I actually got these from Azans as well. I didn't notice any like these today, but I do have a set of four from Azans. I picked up four more of these so that I have a nice set of six now. I love these. I just love these. The stem is so thin. I've never broken any of these. So pretty. I don't really like things on my counters. Like the only appliance, I guess you could consider it, that's on my counter is like my kettle and it's on that side. So it's kind of like in its own corner. And I have a little coffee nook going on over there. I wanted something to put the ground coffee into. They were 600 Jamaican dollars, which I think is roughly maybe five dollars US and it's airtight Then I also got some Christmas lights picked up these little, you know, I'm just trying to get get in the in the Christmas spirit Okay, I picked up these little just they were just really cheap. I think they were basically the equivalent of like three dollars um, these little stems i guess little decorative pieces you know just to add a little bit of christmas to my house you know but i thought i'll just pop on here say hey and yeah okay my little holiday centerpiece i like how this looks like it's just so cute i don't know i just it's just so simple and these are my new plants. Look at how healthy and just glorious this fiddly fig is. Yeah, this was an epic fail. So I'm just going to try to unscrew them and continue on with my life. hello guys so it's currently tuesday i am in the car in new kingston traffic <laughs> like honestly for a caribbean country the traffic is a little bit too north american in kingston for me and i mean i have already geographically worked it out it's because you have 1.1 million people jammed into a, a city that you have to drive everywhere to go like it's not walkable and i'm just like the traffic between four and six I mean, there's traffic out around that, but that's the worst of it. The four to six traffic, it's insane. But unfortunately for me, my nail lady is really good and she gets really popular and her weekends are just basically like booked out right now. And I broke my pinky and my nails are like overdue. I did my nails literally over four weeks ago and I tend to do them once a month. I literally budget through my nails once a month that's my form of self-care and like beauty maintenance beauty maintenance i got a late nail appointment it was originally 4 30 but now it but then it was moved to 
what was that even later um after five so i'm just now in the traffic olympics just left to work trying to figure out how long it's gonna take me google maps is just giving red it's just looking extremely red this is such a beautiful day today and especially after a full storm this weekend like it's really really nice to see how lovely the weather is today it's just stunning like look at that blue sky it's so beautiful hey guys <laughs> You would have seen earlier, I brought the the shoe rack that was giving me so much trouble to mount it last night. I was like, I work with 70% men. So I was like, somebody bound to have, or even the office bound to have a screwdriver or a drill or something, or maybe they just have the strength to be able to do it themselves. And that was right. So I brought the shoe rack to to work first of all i didn't realize it was this big it's actually really big but i brought the shirak to work and two of my co-workers put it together so thanks to them i actually really like the shelf i feel like it, they should just market it as a shelf versus only a shoe rack because it's definitely a really nice shelf it's like a bamboo wood and it feels nice the wood didn't split or anything and the screws are very very tightly in the traffic actually you know even though i'm in bumper to bumper traffic today it usually gets me pretty depressed but i think that's because i usually leave work at night <laughs> i usually do not leave work before the sun is going down and it's crazy how that impacts my mood so much like comment down below if you like that because being in traffic leaving leaving work in the nighttime and in traffic is insane and it just no matter if the traffic is flowing or not i'm just always so upset <laughs> so i feel like maybe it's the sunshine because now i'm in traffic i mean granted i did leave work a little bit earlier than i normally do but you know to be out in this beautiful weather and actually see the sun and the sky today that's wow and like the sunset what is this what i needed i just needed sun to be happy <laughs> but anyway guys uh enough chit chatting now let's get back into the traffic gonna turn on my little jams and hopefully get to my appointment in time we're still on the road it's been it's been at least 30 minutes now. Oh my god! Am I gonna make it? I made it I literally made it bang on time according to my watch my car I've, okay I think my car clock is a few minutes slow because my car clock says I still have three minutes but grateful y'all it's so crazy how all I never realized that all the traffic was literally concentrated in one area like I thought halfway through we'd have traffic there is no traffic on this road like this road behind me there's no traffic but anyway before I actually make myself late so let me head on in and let's go get these nails done so this is the before and i'm gonna show you all the after
Hey guys, so I just got home from getting my nails. The chrome on them is literally beautiful. Like, she did such a fantastic job. I feel like they're a little bit too cool tone and too silver. Like, maybe if I did a gold chrome instead of the white chrome, like was it, like what was in the photo, I would like them more because I just feel like they're clashing, like with my jewelry. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but. In, in real life in person I think it's a pretty pretty blue and I love it on my like hand it's very pretty but I don't know if I like it with my whole aesthetic but it'll be cute for now it's a moment it's a thing I tried it I like my nails they're still pretty really pretty but now I'm just gonna go ahead and cook dinner one of my friends is in Jamaica right now um, so they're coming over and you know kind of like a little i guess friends giving prelude so i'm gonna cook make make something real nice and so i have lunch tomorrow and then catch up with you guys i got a tree guys Hey guys, my tree. I think it's done. I'm gonna get some burlap tomorrow and wrap it around the bottom. And that's kind of gonna be like my bottom piece. And then, I feel it pretty. It's just what I wanted, like green with a little bit of white. And then, you know, the gold, it's my vibe. Hello guys, so it is Thursday and I just got my hair done. I got it done by blow by blow. I opted for some big curls, but I think the barrel that she used was just a little bit too big or maybe she should have sprayed it with um, like holding spray. Um, so they kind of dropped by the time I got home, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some like big flexi rods to it because I wanna have like really curly ends for tomorrow which is my friends giving y'all i'm so excited to be hosting friends giving like just like i'm well i really call it friends giving slash friends must or whatever i'm just like having a moment of like my close friends and i'm just like in my hosting and hostess bag and i love it here okay i love it here like i was telling somebody i literally can't wait to just like own my own home with i can already envision it and see like my kitchen and living room and just the space and everything's curated for how i want because when i see this apartment and how i have really made it so like cozy and just peaceful and welcoming and aesthetically pleasing i'm like man put me in a house okay the things that i would do in my home wow yeah look at my tree it looks so cute actually it's a small tree so i just like put it up on this like little side table we have by the dining table and i think it's just it came out so pretty it's just pretty much just gold and green and then i got snow like fake snow in a can and i sprayed a little bit onto the tree i think like you know the tree with the lights is perfect it's just like hello hello holidays hello friends i'm ready <laughs> so i'm putting together some little candles in some little packages to give my friends you know like little goodie bags from friendsgiving so let me show you guys my the candles that i've made since i've never shown them on here before and this is all self-taught so this is these are like the little bubble candles i just feel like i love these i think they're just a home decor staple they're so aesthetically pleasing those and i also have like some other like pillar candles so i really can't wait for the new year to just get back into it and introduce like other things so i'm just putting little gifts together for all my friends they're not even going to see it come in and i have a little color palette because i want to take pictures i am i also have a photography page it's like hobby photography like photography has always just been a little happy thing for me um that like kind of you know it, it still kind of falls into the realm of social media and all that i'm going to like deep clean my house tonight 
and tomorrow I'm going to hit like the grocery store and different things I took a half day tomorrow at work just so that I'd have the afternoon to really just prep and I'm like so excited I can't wait to like show you guys like give you guys little clips of Friendsgiving because yeah anyway let me go prep these gifts and I will catch up with you guys soon